seen you through already. Yeah. That is the meaning of your coming here today. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You may be seated. You may be seated. Thank you, Lord. Um, the announcement I need to to make, I think uh, the wise man will be coming out to deliver this announcement. There's a lot of thing, a lot of thing happen out, out there, so you need to be educated. <clears throat> and uh, well, um, so I think I'm running out of time now. I cannot uh, wait any longer. So you just be ready. Are you ready? Yeah. So the, there are two ways to this. The Lord knows I cannot meet everyone one on one. It's not possible. So after moving a few times, I will come back to your miss here and offer you mass prayer. And this mass prayer is an utterance that open the door, that heal, that deliver that bring breakthrough to your business yeah. it's not just uh, uh, your wish wishful thinking it is what god wants it to happen to you yeah. so that will be the mass prayer when i will be standing here uh, telling you god's opinion about your life yeah. so whether you like it or not as you are living here whatever you hear me say you can pencil it down Walk towards this. This is what prophecy, and uh, so shall be. Yeah. But but you don't see it this way. You think I'm talking to you. There's difference between saying where and praying prayer. There are different praying prayer and saying word. So I'm not saying where here. I'm praying prayer. So whatever we deliver, it delivered. So whether you like it or not, your coming here is 50 percent. You have scored 50 percent already. Can you? Can, are you hearing me? Tell your neighbor you have scored 50 percent. You are coming, whether you are here to tempt, or you are here to destroy, or you are here to do whatever, you have scored 50%. Yes. Because, you know, you are not just wake up and say, I wish I want to go to Snaga and come here. It's not possible. Without God is involved. If God were not involved, you would not come here today. You know how long you have been planning to come here. You know how long, ask your neighbor, you know how long you have been planning to come here. And you are saying you just wake up, you want to come and you come. I just wake up and want to come and come. That is not, that is not church of Holy Ghost. A church that the foundation is Holy Spirit. It's a liberty. The arena of liberty. When Satan knows you are coming to a place of Holy Ghost, it's a, a church where the, the foundation is Holy Ghost, and Satan knows you are coming, and you begin to nurse it in your heart, the attack started. The moment you have the thought of, if it is not a church of Holy Ghost, no problem, you say, go there, no problem. You come back and, and, and meet us. They know you are going there to waste money. But a place where they know you will be reclaimed because you are a child of God, something, something somehow, something happened. And because Satan wants to overthrow your, your position, you are a child of God. But when Satan knows where you are going, you will be reclaimed by. Follow her, please. But, that where you are going you will be reclaimed back to your normal what will happen at that immediately the thought of coming to that 
a place of worship, a place of Holy Ghost where the Holy Spirit is the foundation, the attack starts. You begin to wrestle. You hear a call that someone will call you the agent of Satan. That look, oh, eh, that place oh, is a demonic place. It's not good. It's not good. It's not the church of God. I'm telling you, don't go there. Ah, you become, you, you are disturbed again. It may be someone you respect so much and you see as your spiritual father. How can your spiritual father tell you that this place is not good and you say it's good? Things of, this, things of the spirit, you run to him and he says it's not good, you say it's good. You know, you want to disconnect yourself. You want to abandon your spiritual father. Definitely you have to obey. So this, this is where the trouble, big trouble started. If you now want to come, you have to come and hide. Some are here today. Somewhere, somewhere. They, they wear marks at the back there. You see them when the camera is coming, they do like this. When the camera goes this way, they go like this. Because they don't want their spiritual father to, to see them. They will collect the vehicle, the jeep, the house, the land, the property, the sponsorship. Everything will be collected. And you, you need to eat food. I understand. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> A lot of things going on. Many of us are caged. Many of us are what? Serious cage. Serious cage. What do you mean by cage? That a man is rich does not mean he's better than you in the presence of God. That a man is, he, he, he is wealthy. He has so much possession. Houses, car, money, huge money, property, the rich, one of the richest in the nation, in the world, does not mean in the presence of God, he has a better position than you. Because of those things, he becomes your mentor. We don't choose, when it comes to spiritual issue, we don't look at the wealth and possession. Choose mentor of fame if i'm talking to you let us see your hand when it comes to spiritual issue your spiritual your your the the the, the, the i mean you know the, the first place we are to prosper is in our spiritual life when you now come to your spiritual life you need someone to nurture you you need someone to help you don't choose a man because he's rich he's famous he has money possession. Your friend has got money. You smile differently. When you have money, you may not come out, come home in the night. Your wife will say, ah, my husband has received money. That is why he refused to come to sleep in the house again. When you don't have money, people know that, uh, that there is no money. You, when there's money, you have a lot of appointments. An appointment everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. You receive many honorary. There's money. So when money begins to control you, not the, not the giver of the money, destruction is awaiting. But we are to control the money. The giver controls us, we control. But what is happening today? What is happening? What's happening? What's happening? Contentment. When you are content, no more fear, no more murmuring, no more complaining. 
No more grumbling. The opinion of people about you does not matter, but the opinion of God. What people say about you does not matter. No one knows you better than yourself. Let them say whatever they want to say about you. But when you are not content, you listen to what people say about you. It is what, what people say about you dictate the direction. Your situation dictates the direction of your prayer. When it is time to pray, now rise up for prayer. Some will say, my stomach, my stomach, my stomach, meaning that he has stomach problem. Some will say, debt, God, God, let me, debt, this is debt, this is debt. You say, he is debt. Some will say, fruit of the womb, fruit of the womb. It is our situation that dictates the direction of our prayer. When we are not content. So then, when are you going to say thank you, Jesus? Because in this war, you cannot be zero free. So, contentment. Think about where you are coming from. And where you are today. And where you are going. You can make perfect correction. Without consulting any, anybody. Without even sitting with Joshua. You can say, oh, this is what I need to do now. I've done all this. I've tried this. I've tried this. I've tried this. I've tried this. This is the result. Now, this result is not okay. So, I, I, this is, I need. You see that since you are, since the beginning of your life, you never one day content. It has been strongly and strongly and strongly and strongly and strongly. When million, you pray for million, and when million come, now another again, challenges. You begin to inspire the house you are living is not good again when million come and you are living in that house no problem the cockroach was there you do you never mind but now the million naira has come million dollar has come you begin to see cockroach cockroach that have been there for long <laughs> eh? cockroach has been in that house for long but you never see that cockroach but now millions of dollars has arrived you know, so no, 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 I can't live in this. I didn't see cockroach. What an insult. What an insult. You have been in that community for so long. Now, million dollars has arrived, has come. You say the street. This, those boys, they are vagabond. I can't, I can't live in this street. The noise is so much. They disturb every morning. Look at noise everywhere. So, you mean the noise just started... Can you imagine what I'm talking about? Can you imagine? Can you imagine? So, try to do this, try to do that, the money control, our direction. No. no. The reason why God bless you is to bless those people around your community. Now you are blessed, you run away, you abandon the community. You are blessed to bless the, the community you are. If though you want to leave the place, you have to, you have to try as much and remember you are in the midst of these people before God raised you. Where are we going? The life has been like that. Contentment is a very powerful weapon. Where are we going? Yes, 
I mean, this, uh, in the secondary school, when I finish university, I will have this, I will have that. And you have forgotten that education is to help, not that help. God is the helper. Education to help. And if that education is not helping you, you shouldn't do or die. That is not do or die. It, God is the helper. Education is to help. That uh, if I graduate, I will succeed, I will have light, I will do it. No, it's a wrong impression. If I marry and settle down and have a child, I will be okay. But you have married, you have plenty of children. What is again? If I travel this and that, you have traveled everywhere. What is again? I feel that get that success you are talking about. So, well, what we have seen. Let me give you my picture, the picture of my life. I started my ministry at down Ajishigri, and I'm still there till now. And I'm still living there till now. Where I started the ministry is where I'm still. But that does not affect the growth of the ministry, rather the ministry is growing. What I'm telling you now is that you easily forget where you started. And how you started begin to irritate you when money comes. There should be no irritation. I'm showing you my video how I started. I'm happy. To let you know that uh, I could not even explain myself when I started the, this ministry. But many of you, will you be able to be open now and say, hey, you'll be ashamed. I have beer like this. When I started the ministry, I show you this. Where is those record of yours? realize that uh, at the, in the past when I begin to travel to overseas to minister I will still meet the same people I'm gathering in Nigeria 90% of people that will come to me in the past if I like, assume I travel uh, 20 years ago I begin to travel all over the world 90% will be African people there's no need of travel I'm wasting my time let the anointing break the race the, the, the color then that will be important that will be reason to travel there's no need of travel when you travel is 99 percent of people that will come to you in london in america they are all africa and you are africa what are you coming to london for then it means dollar and pounds there should be purpose for one the reason why you are traveling. So what I'm saying, I'm talking of contentment. When you are content, you wait for God's time. When you are content, you, God's time will be your road map. God's time will be your what? Your road map. When you want to move, you say, God's time. God's time. When it's not God's time, when everybody is moving, you just wait. And when you move at God's time, everything look beautiful where god guys he protests so let us wait for god's time look at our life even our marriage are you talking of our marriage when you look at your history you see many married today i was given a lecture yesterday that when you talk of marriage there are two things we must take to note take note the right time and the right person. The right time and the right person. 
if one of them it is the right time that bring about the right person not the right person bring about the right time if there are mistake in this two the marriage will still collapse tomorrow that will be trouble in marriage tell your neighbor the right time and the right person the right time bring about the right person but today the way people come to me and say sir this is the woman i want to marry i want to know god's opinion oh if i ask god what is the opinion of god god says it's good marriage that is what you ask me you never ask me whether it's the right time if it is not the right time but the marry the person is the right person to marry the marriage cannot stand the test of time the right time bring about the right person Test the right time. Check on the right person. Oh, it is the right time for marry to, mar for, to marry. Now you can go out. You you meet the right person. Amen. So this is just the philosophy. The whole thing. The world today upside down. The world upside down. There's trouble. And the trouble in the world today, the larger trouble in the world today, start from this marriage issue. And when two people come together and they are not ordained to get together, the children and all other will, will, will constitute nuisance to the world. The right time and the right person. So please, I will continue. Uh, I don't want to forget myself because I have a job. Tell your neighbor the right time yes. and the right person. Yes. yes, that is what beat marriage. I want to marry, wait for God's time, the right time. When it is right time, then the right person will come. But you cannot say, this is the, if you meet the right person, to marry this is the person to marry is the right person god says the right person okay if it is not right time that right person the marriage will not stand the test of time that is why the marriage is collapsing today you can see what's happening all over the world oh married and you marry and all of that there's a broken home it really affects christian community and we have to work on this broken home broken home and once there is a broken home the children are in trouble because our children need our our war our support when it is right time and you get the right person and you become president tomorrow the same person will be the first lady but today the first lady is not the first wife Well, I want to lead you. Let me just move. But I want to tell you, I'm talking to you with power. This is a gross way that will build you when you go home thinking about what I'm talking about. Call your daughter, call your children at home, call them. Look at man of God saying two things for marriage right time and right person. If you have right person, if your daughter comes home and says, Mommy, this man is my husband. I pray hundred prophecy is the right man. Uh, is it the right time? Ask prophet whether it's the right time. If it's not right time and you have right person, the mother cannot stand. Time to be born, time to grow, and time to walk, and time to enjoy the proceed. Um, yes, I used to say some of our people that need to see me after the service, uh, those who met me last after service, I know it, it, it is, it, the whole thing became a, a history in their life. 
uh, there was another service for them. We conduct a separate service for those who wait to see me because they were expecting me to prophesy to minister to them. So on the uh, last Sunday after service, there was a place where I, I, I was able to see them one on one. So therefore, those who will not see me after the service, just leave me with them. Unless there is a, a special case among us. If I look at you and I know and you, still, you are living here and you are going to see me after the service, I would better not to talk to you. Let me use my time to talk to those who will not be able to wait. Because some are here today, they live outside Lagos. They, 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 they live, I mean, far. After the service, they are going back to where they are living. Okay? So thank you very much. Hallelujah. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, right time and right person. Tell your neighbor, tell your neighbor. I can hear you. Yes, thank you, thank you. Let's all, let's all, let's all. Ask God to give you the grace, the grace to see beyond your natural. You want to see, let the Lord speak to you. You want to hear the voice of God. You want the door of your heart to be open. Every, every broken, broken, broken issue in your life, re rebuild. Ask God. To be build you. Maintenant, priez, demandez à Dieu de vous donner la grâce de voir au-delà du naturel. Priez. Que de la Dieu que vous la grâce de voir plus allá de sa situation immédiate, de sa situation naturelle. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As we are moving, like I have said, it's not possible to speak to... Look at people in the gallery for the past uh, three months now. I don't know when last I went there. They are there, but they depend on the mass prayer. When the prayer is going on, the Lord speaks to them and deliver them. But I would have loved to go to the gallery. But... Uh, uh, you, know, you know you are better than me in, in English, English speaking. Are you telling me you don't understand my English? I said I would have loved to go to gallery. It does not mean that I'm going to gallery. Ah, my God. You, you are a language. You, you are better than me. You taught me. Huh? You taught me. I said I would have loved to go to gallery. I would have loved to go to gallery. It does not mean I'm coming to gallery. I, I like your faith. I like your faith. Wow, you have the faith. You know, with, with that mighty faith, you can, you can change. You want to change my mind. <laughs> wow, thank you, Lord. So what I'm saying, so this is just the, the issue. When I'm moving around and uh, around and around, sometimes, if not God that is telling me, I told you how I locate people. Last Sunday, I told you how I locate people. That's what we call lightning of God. That is language, that's the, the, the word I can use, lightning of God. It strike like thunder. We can't compare it to thunder. Thunder, thunder is, is, a, is, a, is a natural gift of God. But this one is a resurrection power. Mm, it's, thunder cannot stand it. It strikes, and when it's going, I, I follow it, I follow it, I follow it. When I could not trace it again, I have to wait. Because it's my guide. So I, I have to wait. Many a time I don't leave house, I'll just stay in the house. When I wake up and I can't see that trace, I have to stay at home. I'll get, begin to pray. So this is what is taking me to you, and, and I want to assure you, you're coming here, I once again I say, it's purely divine. Yeah. 
it, it has been written that you'll be delivered. Amen. Yes. The, your prayer for many years are not lost. Amen. Your coming here is answer to your prayer. Amen. You listen to me? Your coming here is answer to your prayer many years. Amen. You have been praying for deliverance. You have been praying for healing. You have been praying for blessing. Now, you have you expected that blessing to come. The reality, just blessing you want to see. But instead of seeing it just like this, you are here. So, my, you don't think that uh, TV Joshua is the same. No. Your prayer for many years. I just need to look at your face. You just need to look at my face. And your blessing is confirmed. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You may be seated. Thank you. Hallelujah.